Okay. So we have a programmable universal TPMS sensor, QQR car. That's the name of it. It does 315 and 433 megahertz. You can program this with your phone and I have the app here. So I'm going to start my phone, the app, and you can see the app here on the side. I put that thing in there that you can see both at the same time. And let's take one out. Uh, we have to program one and it doesn't matter which one. Let's do this one. And we need one for the front left tire. And uh, I wrote down already the ID code that I have here for the front left tire. It needs this 03E06E2 programmed into it. Now, let's check this sensor first, how it goes. So we go to um, the, touch the button program sensor. Then we select our vehicle. In this case, it's going to be a Jeep. Give me a second. A Jeep Grand Cherokee 2011 to 2015. That's what it is. We can say check sensor. Okay. Now the iPhone 14, I think this is, has the sensor reader here, the NFC reader in this area. Okay. So now we um, have to put this thing here, right there, see this? And then we do check sensor, it says ready to scan, success. Okay, very quick here, um, the, it has a number in there already, 213456, so this is not the correct number we want. We have our correct number here. So I have to type that in. So I do input sensor ID, okay? There we go. It starts out with a 03, 03, and then the capital E, E. And then we have a 06 uh, and a capital E and the 2, right? 03, E, 06, E, 2. Okay, then we click a program. Why do we hold the sensor still behind it? We don't move much, okay? Just let us do its thing. If you move it around, take it away, move the phone back and forth, it will only make it worse and you might get a fail or something like that. Here we see a success. Okay, see that? It has this programmed into it and it says, please, please check if the ID is correct. So you need to check this ID, 3E06E62, if this is what you wanted. Click again on check sensor. It says success and it writes the same name in there. So this sensor now has this number on it and you can install it in your vehicle instead of the OEM sensor that was in there. Where do you get this number from? God, that's a little bit tricky. Hopefully this number is on the sensor in the, in the car. When you take the old one out, hopefully that is printed on it. If it's not printed on it, then you're a little bit in trouble if you want to clone the sensor that is in the car when you make an identical copy of it. Um, you need to have an OBD scanner to scan the, the car itself to see what numbers it expects. Or if you're lucky, like me, this Jeep, for example, um, is a self-learning uh, system. So it doesn't matter what number the sensor has as long as it's not the same as any of the others. And um, it just learns it when it drives. Okay, now, hope this helped you, how this works here with the programming. And I see you in the next video.